Hi, Karen here, and today I'm telling you everything you need to know about colors in marketing. Whether it's to define your logo, your personal branding, a thumbnail, your product or service, or whatever, the colors you choose are important. As we already know from eye tracking, our eyes are drawn to many things in advertisement. Font, shape, and above all, colors. So colors are utilized for good marketing. And actually, shades of the same color won't have the same impact and meaning. I'll let you a link in the description that will give you the details for every shade of every color I'm going to talk about. So you will have access to all the details. Just go in the description. So even if we don't realize it, from the sales or customer side, the choice of colors influences the way people perceive a brand. We call this reflection. This is the way consumers associate themselves with your brand. In psychology, every color evokes an emotion, memories, or an association. Green, for example, is associated with nature. Tiny disclaimer, colors do have a meaning, but the meaning isn't universal. From one country to another, from one culture to another, colors will be perceived differently. The examples in the video generally work for the USA and Europe. Then again, even in Europe, colors won't have the same meaning depending on your past experiences, your country, your culture, your gender, and so on. So what we're talking about today is global generality. So it's okay if I talk about a color and you have another feeling when you see this color. On that note, here we go. We start with red. The number of brands that use red is infinite. After all, it evokes so many things. First, it's a bright color that tends to attract attention quickly. This makes it a popular choice for anything that requires attention immediately, such as promotions, special offers, and call to action buttons. And because this color is quickly noticed, it's also used to indicate warnings and important items. Red also evokes a feeling of warmth and more specifically, emotional warmth. This can be used to create an emotional connection, particularly in contexts where passion and trust are important. And finally, in another subject, red is often used in the food industry, as it is associated with appetite. Restaurants and fast foods love red, because it stimulates consumer desire and appetite. Apart from red, blue clearly stands out from the other popular colors in marketing. It's associated with water and the sky, so the environment. You'll find it in health services, spas and wellness-oriented businesses, all areas where peaceful atmosphere is desired. Of course, you'll also find companies in the technologies and IT domains that use blue to evoke reliability and security, but also ideas of innovation, progress and modernity. In the food industry, blue is also perceived for freshness and purity. Blue is also perceived as professional and easy to understand, making it a common choice for websites, corporate documents and other communication media. And finally, it's also associated with sympathy and understanding. So socially minded organizations and company focused on human relations and customer service love blue. The color yellow is associated with sun and light, and primarily embodies positivity and energy, giving a dynamic edge to brands that use it. Since it's associated with joy and positivity, companies that use yellow frequently target a young, enthusiastic audience. Like red, yellow is bright and an attention-grabbing color, so it can be used to highlight an element, like promotions, call to actions, or important information in general. Yellow is also associated with creativity and innovation, What's more, it's a bright color, so it contrasts well with dark text, which is why it's often used to highlight an information. And finally, yellow is frequently used in the food industry, particularly for products associated with speed and convenience. For example, fast food or snack packaging may have yellow to whet the appetite and indicate a quick consumption experience. Green is often used in marketing to convey messages associated with nature, companies seeking to value the sustainability, the respect of the environment and eco-friendly products, as well as industries focused on health and wellness related activities all go for green. Green will create a positive association with their product. In the same style, the color is also soothing and therefore will evoke feelings of calm and serenity. Green is also perceived as a balanced and harmonious color, which is perfect for brands that want to communicate stability, confidence and balance. In certain contexts, 
context, green can be used to communicate technological innovation, particularly in the field of renewable energies and environmentally friendly technologies. Green is also associated with growth, learning and development. Educational companies and institutions can use green to convey positive messages about lifelong learning and personal growth. And of course, the best known organic, natural and environmentally friendly products are often using green. They use it to indicate their ecological character. Orange is bright and warm. It evokes energy, creativity and enthusiasm. In the context of marketing, orange is often used to capture attention and convey a feeling of optimism. So it's used to convey positive and encouraging messages, but also to create a strong visual impact and attract attention. Orange is often used to indicate special offers, promotions and discounts. Companies who want to project an image of modernity, dynamism and originality love the color. As I said, orange is a symbol of energy, so brands linked to sports love it because it communicates the vitality and enthusiasm associated with an active lifestyle. And finally, orange is often used in the food industry, particularly for products associated with freshness and flavor. Food and beverage packaging use orange to stimulate the appetite and indicate a pleasant taste experience. Brown is often associated with elements such as wood, earth and organic materials. In marketing, this color can be used to evoke a feeling of authenticity, durability and connection with nature. For example, UPS uses brown to evoke reliability, trust and tradition. It's also a color that can evoke feelings of comfort and familiarity. Brown is often used in the marketing of artisanal, handmade or organic products. It can reinforce the idea of high quality, carefully crafted products. As brown is reminiscent of earth, it can evoke feelings of stability and security and is therefore appealing to services in the financial domain to communicate trust and reliability. As I said, it is linked to nature, so it is often used in the marketing related to outdoor activities such as camping equipment, hiking clothes and gardening items. In the food industry, it is also used to represent tasty and rich food. We often see it associated with chocolate, coffee, spices, all that kind of stuff. And finally, used with darker shades, brown can also evoke feelings of elegance and refinement. So fashion and luxury brands, they go for it, for this sophisticated image. Although it shouldn't be, the color pink is most of the time associated with femininity and romance. So brands that target a female audience or want to communicate romance-related content can use pink to evoke these feelings. It's a soft color that can also evoke innocence and tenderness, as well as positive energy, optimism and joy. So it's frequently used for children's products, such as toys and clothing. Pink is also used in the wellness and beauty industry. Skincare, makeup and spa brands can use pink to convey feelings of softness and relaxation. The color is also used to symbolize hope, support and solidarity. Used in a contemporary way, pink can evoke feelings of modernity and trendiness. Brands in the fashion, design and technology can use pink to project an avant-garde image. Purple represents spirituality, serenity, mysticism and intrigue. Brands seeking to communicate values of well-being and tranquility or to use curiosity and interest can incorporate purple into their visual communications. The color can also evoke feelings of relaxation and is therefore often used in the beauty and wellness products industry. But purple is also associated with royalty and elegance, as it was often used by monarchs. Brands that want to evoke luxury, sophistication and opulence will therefore favor this color. Beyond that, purple will be found in the fields of technology, design and art to project a modern and inventive image, but also to reinforce the idea of creativity and artistic expression. And finally, purple can be used to represent special occasions and celebrations. White will be found in many places. For starters, white is all about weddings and celebrations. After all, it's associated with purity, innocence and simplicity. Minimalism is in love with this color. White is a neutral color that can be used as a backdrop or to accentuate other colors. The color also evokes feelings of clarity and transparency. So it's often used in skincare, hygiene and health to symbolize cleanliness and neatness. White is also a symbol of elegance and refinement and therefore 
core of high-end, fashionable and luxury products. In the technology sector, on the other hand, white is used to symbolize innovation and modernity, thus projecting an image of progress and futurism. What's more, the color offers a high contrast with black text and other colors, making important information easier to read and explaining its use almost everywhere. Last but not least, white can be associated with ecological values and sustainability, particularly when using context related to environmentally friendly products. Black is often associated with white. As white, black is adored by high-end fashion and luxury brands to create an image of sophistication and prestige. Black is also a neutral color that can symbolize simplicity and refinement, which is a popular choice for minimalism design. And like white, black can be used to create a strong visual impact. It is often combined with important elements such as logos, texts, images, everything, just to enhance visibility. Black is timeless and classic, so brands that want to communicate longevity, stability and permanence can choose black as their dominant color. And at the same time, black is also perceived as modern and stylish, so companies in the technology, design and creativity sectors also use black to project a contemporary avant-garde image. What's more, like purple, black is often associated with concepts of mystery and intrigue and can arouse public interest and curiosity. And finally, companies seeking to communicate a strong, serious and influential image can use black in their visual identity. In short, black goes everywhere. Well, I think you know everything. Now it's up to you to decide which colors suit the best your brand. Try to take only three or four colors. It's already a lot. And be brave. If you like the video, consider subscribing. It's always a pleasure. And of course, if you have any questions, I'm waiting for you in the comment section below. See you soon for more videos.